Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte. Took a little break, take care of some family business, but now I'm back at it. So today I've been invited to a BMW performance driving event. Um, actually, they sent the email. You had to register via email. And it's today I'm going to be heading out to that. It's going to be an autocross event. You'll be able to drive some of their new vehicles. So we're going to go ahead and head out to that today. They're going to be riding up with a couple buddies. I think Nishan, Ravishing Rides, and some other people are going to the event. So we're going to actually bring you guys along to the event. And we're going to see what happens. I have no clue if they're going to allow me to video. But I'm going to video as much as I can for you guys and bring you all along for the ride. So let's get to it. Let's get it. Here it looks like we are here. Just trying to figure out where to go. The BMW Ultimate Driving Experience. Let's get to it. All right, everyone. So we had the Ultimate Driving Experience. So they have a bunch of cars out here that you can drive. Uh, they got a, a, like an I4. They got an X3, X5, they got the, they got the um, 7s, new 7 series, uh, 5 series, 6, X6. They got a bunch of stuff out here you can drive and do all that with. So that's pretty cool. They got an autocross event going on right now. I missed my original time slot. Got here a little late, but they have another time slot a little later, so I'm going to go do that. And then they have like a 0 to 60 um, runs and stuff like that over there. So they got a little bit of everything, man. So it should be pretty cool. All right, so over here they have the lineup of a bunch of different cars here. So they got the new M2, which we'll do a closer look at, the M4 convertible, the iX, the i7, and the XM. So I'm gonna walk up, and give you guys my kind of brief thoughts on each one right now. All right, so first up we got the XM. So this looks like it's a Dravit, or is it Hatch Brands? Oh, is it Brands Hatch? Uh, looks, um, hat. I think it's I think it's Hatch Brands Gray or Gray Brands Hatch. I can't remember which one it is right now, but I can tell the difference between it because the difference between Brands Hatch Gray and Dravit, Dravit has the gold flake in it, or Brands Hatch is just more like the traditional dark mineral gray. I like the gold XM badges they they put on the car. Looks really good. I don't mind the stacked exhaust. It's something different. It makes it stand out on the road. And then you're looking at the rest of the car here. It's a nice big SUV. Um, a lot of people that have driven these, they said they don't really understand the point of this car. When you already got the X7, when you already got the X5, it's kind of like the same size of the X5, maybe a little bit less space in it, but it's just like a performance SUV. I don't know. I mean, I think they really, and then they only made, the, they made this one detuned, right? Because they got the new red line, I think, coming out. It's got the real 700 plus horsepower in it, which is the one that everybody's going to want. But that one's probably going to be $160,000, $175,000. And it's just like, this thing's already expensive. So, although I like the car, the strategy behind it, I'm kind of, eh. But then we got the new 7 Series. And this is the one with the screen in the back. Um, I mean, it's cool. I've never really been a big 7 Series guy. Um, because most of the extra room you get in the 7 Series versus the 5 Series is in the back seat. So I'm not, I haven't been fortunate enough to have a driver or anybody like that to drive me around. So it's kind of like, they're very nice, luxurious highway cruisers, but I've been kind of more of a performance guy. So that's kind of another reason why I never really looked at the sevens, but it is a very nice car. Definitely, definitely will stop, um, will break some necks on the highway. If that's what you're looking for. All right, next we got the iX. So that if you look at the iX and the XM, the iX is kind of like the smaller version, less performance oriented, um, but still gets the job done. You can kind of see the similarities. The XM actually looks a little higher, looks a little higher off the ground, a little more bulkier than the iX. But um, the iX, I've reviewed it before on my channel. I, like, I mean, for what it is, it's really nice. It's got a lot of nice features, very nice interior. I mean, I think it's a step in the right direction. If BMW has to go electric, so then we got right here M4. We already kind of know what this car is all about. The S58. It's got the carbon ceramic package. Regular seats, sport seats, Silverstone over Alaman Green. 
nice. All right, right here we have one very controversial car, which is the brand new M2, the G87 M2. I actually like it, man. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind all the stuff that's going on with the car too much. It doesn't bother me. And it's a very aggressive car when you give it a, when you look at it, all right? So this is Brooklyn Gray over Tarfuto. I think that's how you enunciate it, Tarfuto Brown, which isn't a bad combination. The gray and brown, you know, I kind of, I had the gray and orange when I had my G80. So I actually like this color. I actually like this car, man. Like, would I get, would I, would, that, would this be my next BMW if I was to get one? I don't know about all that, but I do like the car, man. I definitely do. I do like also, um, I think John was one of the first ones to do it, was to actually body color match the bottom portion there to kind of complete the front end. I don't like the little snaggle tooth look on the, at the bottom of it with this middle part being black and the other parts being body color. Just go ahead and make the bottom part body colored. Give it a complete front end. Well, these guys are out here mobbing. <laughs> if you hear any tires screeching in the back, this is if everyone out here doing an autocross event. But um, going on to the back, I think this is the part that most people d dislike the most. <sighs> in person, at least from my height, <laughs> looking down on it, it doesn't look too bad. I think with the right pieces added to it, it's gonna look it's gonna look fine, man. I, I think the new M2 looks. I think it looks fine. I would like to see what a competition or CS style looks like. They said they're not doing a competition, they're just going straight to CS. So we'll see. But um, all in all, I heard the car drives great, and I like the way it looks. It doesn't look too bad. Inside, kind of what you expect. I drive eight. Rest of it, G80 stuff. So, cool. All right, guys. So we are inside an X6 M50i. So I got my boy Sean, nice Sean, Ravish and Rise. So make sure to go subscribe, yo, yo. support. But um, man, this this thing is nice. I think the color is Brands Hatch Gray, and then I guess this is Tarfuto leather, Tarfuto Brown. I don't know. But the X6, this thing looks nice on the inside. The seats are really nice. It's got the uh, S63 in it, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna see how it goes. As far as the buttons and the interior. Just like any other BMW, if you got in one BMW, you've been in almost all of them. That's just kind of how it works now at this point. Um, actually, I don't think this is the newer version because it seems like it's because the newer version will have the newer screen yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. is will be the previous. This so is this, like a 22, maybe. Yeah, maybe a 22, maybe a yeah, definitely a 22, not a 23. Kind of thought all the 23s gonna have the newer iDrive and yeah, stuff in it, yeah. like that one that has a newer iDrive. Yeah. So that's how you know if it has the S63 in it or not. So this is not gonna have the S63. It's still gonna be an N63. Weak. <laughs> very very weak. So we're gonna see how this thing goes. All right, everyone. So just took the X6 around the block. This is the X6 M50i again. Very soft, cushy ride. Very soft, cushy car. But that's what this car is for. It does. Um, it does. You do get a little bit of noise. Get a little bit of feedback. I mean, it's just an easy to drive car. And the V8 is nice gives you a nice punch down low but it does kind of run out of steam up top but eh, you know it's an m light car but all in all the car is very nice all the materials are super nice it's what you expect from bmw um and then you know it's just a nice car man got the panel roof interior looks nice yeah but i bet you won't run that ranger but that ranger don't want the smoke he don't want the smoke look at him he's easing up he like he already had some smoke. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, this thing is nice. I mean, it's for what being for who the builder they built this car for. I think it fits very well for what the soccer moms and people that's gonna be transporting a couple kids in. This car is like perfect. So good job, BMW on the X6. For me, I need the X6M. But there you have it. Hey, what's up, bud? What's going on? Not too much, you. Yeah. Another day. Yes, sir. I like it. Another day. I already knew I had to do this, so. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> no, all right. So, get your foot on that brake pedal for me. Cool, got the car started. Um, yep, down and up on left. Get that all the way to you. How's everything feeling? Pretty good? Yeah, it's come. Kind of, I had a G80 M3, so this kind of reminds okay. me of that. Nice. There you go. All right, you're feeling ready? Yep. All right, let's go ahead and head on around. We should be good. 
Yeah, nice shot. What you taking so long for, bud? Uh, Linda's probably giving the spiel. <laughs> All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. There we go, squeeze it on. There we go, keep going here, keep going, keep going, keep going. And three, two, one, brakes, release, turn in. Good. Around to the left here. Now we're gonna pick up just a little bit of throttle. Now a little bit more, a little bit more. Now squeeze that throttle on. Good, back to those brakes. Nice and hard on those brakes, then release, turn it in, back on that throttle. Good, back to the brakes yeah. again, around to the right. Quick just left coming up. There you go. A little dab of the brakes right here. There you go. Now let's get those eyes looking through to the left. We're gonna go for another lap. There you go, right back on that throttle. Do a little pressure on the brakes, release, turn in. Now make this as straight as possible. Squeeze up throttle, make it straight. There you go, good. Three, two, one, hard on those brakes. Much better, see how that felt? Yeah. There you go. Gotta get that momentum going. Yep, exactly. Round to the left here. There you go, stay in the left. Squeeze that throttle back on. There you are, a little brush of the brakes. Round to the left here. And back on that throttle. It's got a, it's a little back. pause Yeah. the throttle. Yeah, so it's just downshifting is what it's doing. Oh, okay. Yep, round to the right. And then straight through those green cones into the pits. Okay. Just like that, nicely done, bud. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, it's fine. Just getting used to it, right? It's the, the, the throttle it. was like, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's like, it's uh, you hit if, it and then it's I, like, uh, okay, now. Yeah, if I could put it in a different mode, we could get it where it just stays downshifted. Yeah. But then we start to burn through the cars pretty quick, you know? Yeah, I get it. So, all right, there you are, yeah, man. Not bad. Appreciate it. We'll get you back out again shortly. Yeah, I like the brand. Well, my car wouldn't do well. I got an M5 comp. It, oh, yeah. it wouldn't do well out here. It's too, <laughs> no, it's it too needs big. more track. Yeah, it needs yeah. more track. Yeah, well, Appreciate it, bro. Yep, no problem. Not too bad. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Not too bad. Have you been with us before? Um, I've done a driving experience before, just not this one. Oh, I kind of figured I was going to do that. Make sure this is. This is a little tiny. Right, let's get this. All right, that'll be. Uh, that's good. Go ahead and hold the brake for me. Yep. Before we start it up. And we will wait for this green car. Uh -huh. We'll just follow them out. Your second round? Yes, I drove the 330 the first yeah. time. Oh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, it's not enough power. Yeah. It's only got plenty. Yeah, I'm just used to, used to driving M cars, so yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a little different getting in that, that versus yeah. this. Okay. You said you have done one of these before, and haven't? No, I've I've rode as a passenger in one of these oh, okay. before. Um, but not actually driven one. Yeah. Cool. All right. We're good to head out if you're ready. Oh, I don't have to. I guess. Oh yeah. Keep your eyes up as we're coming yep. through here. Start adding a little bit of throttle through here. Lift off. Start adding a little bit more through here. The brakes coming in here. Start the throttle. Come to the corner here. Start easing back to the throttle. We'll lift off to this corner. Back to the throttle. We're gonna brush our brakes and entry in here. There we go. We'll start drifting off to the left hand side. Make our entrance. There we go. Steady throw all the way through here, drifting out to this right hand side. Brush the brakes, back to the throttle. Oh, yeah, go. that felt good right there. We'll head back to the pit here. All right, we'll head right behind that green car from me. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me. <laughs> I was getting on that a little bit. 
What's your name? James. James. I'm yeah. Linda. So I'm videoing a little bit for my okay, YouTube James. channel. Okay. Okay. So let's let this guy get by. Uh -huh. It's just starting to rain, darn it. Go it's away. okay. Okay, I'm making this straight. So this is a straight shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Put to the floor. Oh, yeah. Okay. A little bit of break as I'm making the right turn. Mm -hmm. Keep looking to the next corner to the left. Always looking for the orange cones, being patient. You can't always give it power if the steering wheel's turned. Now back uh -huh. to the left. Stay to the left here because this is a right turn. Okay. So look for the next orange cone to the left. Keep looking back to the right. Come all the way over because I'm setting up for this orange cone. Make this left turn. Mm -hmm. Break. Turn back in. You got to be patient here. Now power. Okay. Remember it here. Break. Turn it in next to the orange cone. Again, that's my apex cone. On a racetrack, you just have stripes. Okay. That lets you know that's the apex. Now you break here. Turn back in left again. Keep turning. Stay oh, straight yeah. in this one. Back to the right. Back to the left. Still looking for the next orange cone. Back to the yep. right. And straight in the pit lane between the two green cones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's just what I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very comfortable. We had these cars all last year. Oh, yeah. This thing weighs 5,000 and It doesn't pounds. feel like it weighs no. that much at all. The only time I notice the weight is if I screw up a corner. Yeah. Then yeah. I can tell the yeah. weight. Yeah. You got to correct it and then you yeah. can feel the weight. Thank you yeah. so much, Thank James. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. Be safe. Don't drive home like that, okay? Oh, I can't, I can't bother. <laughs> I have an M5 in the garage, so oh, I kind of. Yeah. Sometimes I drive a little uh -huh. crazy. I got an E92 V8. Oh, yeah. Uh, Those things scream. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, Lynn. All right, Linda, have a good one. You too. Uh huh. She scared you. No, I wasn't scared at all. What the fight? I'll take my car. I have to buy one. Oh my God, no fools. Seat adjustments right here on the door panel. Either way. Yeah, I mean, the panel there. Because it's going to fly. How are you? Good, how are you? Right here. Excited? <laughs> Excited? You're going to crack your pants in this oh, car. Wait till you see. <laughs> Especially if he drives like a maniac. I hope he does. I, I am. can't wait. Yeah, that's um, what I'm that's talking what about. I'm, I'm going to go get it. Take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you got enough room? Yeah, I'm good, man. Okay. All you right. can come back some? Yeah, if you uh, want to some, there's room. Okay, that one's good now. All right, foot on the brake, hit that start and stop button. All right. All right, steering wheel's going to move. Yep. Underneath the turn signal, there's a tiny little button right underneath diagonal. You can change that to make yourself comfortable. Yep. Got it. I'm all good. right, so I'm let's right put now. it in B mode. Let's pull it all the way down once and one more time for me. All right, so let's go all the way up, nice slow speed. First green cones, and then I'm gonna have you stop. When you stop, take your foot off the throttle. <clears throat> don't touch the brake. Go ahead and stop here, foot off the throttle. Just showing you the B mode, the regenerator brakes. It oh, stops for you. Nice. So let's jump up to the second set of green cones, and then we'll stop again. Foot off that throttle when we come up, and don't touch the brake. Pretty weird, huh? You like that? Yeah, that's okay. nice. So. Stop mm -hmm. signs to the right and left. When I tell you to go, full throttle it for me. Now, okay. As you full throttle it, I'll tell you when to brake. When I tell you to brake, pick oh. your foot up, slam, slam. on those brakes yeah, all the way punch, to ground. Punch all the way yep, in. ready? Let's go, guys. Hit the brake. Nicely done, dude. Oh, yeah. oh I stopped, perfect. stopped early. <laughs> no, you want to stop here. Yeah, we don't yeah. want you over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, perfect. True. So stay nice, slow speed, stay to the left, and then we're going to take a right. Mm -hmm. well, now, the stuff. reason. Yeah, the reason why this course is very tight, we want you yep. to stay slow. Four wheel steering here. So your yeah. back tires are taking a different direction as the tires in the front. Oh, so it nimble, too. very, t it turns on a dime for us here. I wish my ex-fi did this. And then you don't even have to stop slow speed through the slalom here. You got that camera system. This does help you a lot. Oh, wow, I didn't even see the camera. It's 3D, it's phenomenal. Has anybody hit any of these cones today? A few people did, not my people, but they oh, have, okay. yeah. Gotcha. So with this four wheel steering, if you take the car and go about 40 miles or higher, it's more intense. They call it the crab walk. Back tires revert and go the same direction. Mm. So keep on driving all the way up and then take your foot off the pedal for me. See how you sped up? You took your foot off and it comes to a complete stop for us. Nice. Yeah. Nice slow speed. Like all right, it. let's go all the way up and then Get, we'll put it in park. These seats are comfortable too. This is nice. Take it to the right here. All right. Uh, what are you doing, sir? Let's go all the way up here. All right. All right. I just want to make sure I don't want to Take your down. foot off the pedal there. Boom. And then hit this parking brake here. Now, when you unlatch your seatbelt, you see the third button here that looks like a car? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and press that after you unlatch your seatbelt. Oh, after you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wasn't listening. I apologize. No, that's it. <laughs> 
So right. unlatch it, door pops open, vehicle shuts off. Ooh, okay. You like that? So I it do pops like the door. And it turns it off? It mm -hmm. pops it pops the door and it turns it off. Now typically you can hit the start and stop button and it's gonna turn the car off for you as well. Damn. So also if you forget to put it in park, it does it for you. Nice. nice. So yes. Yeah. Nice. That's, yes, it's it's phenomenal. Yeah, it is nice. All right, man. Don't forget you... your stuff in the door there. Oh yeah. I'll I'll just. Yeah. Oh, so there's no door. Oh, there's no handle. Oh, there's no handle. There is a handle. There's an emergency handle. So right underneath here. Yeah. Oh, see right here. Oh. Right oh wow! I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Wow. You like that, right? And there's a lot of room there, because I'm a tall guy. And I, I was gonna say, I had a yeah, and you were behind me. I'm a big guy, too, so yeah, that's a lot of room. I was about six, seven, tall. Had tons of room, tons yeah. of room back I'm here. Shocked. There's a lot of room back there. Yeah.